All right, as we can see right now, it's just like a roughly built a skeleton. And then uh, what they design pretty much like the PGU-160 scale perfect gray Gundam. By the way, like uh, I haven't built up any armor parts as well. As you can see right now, the figure is pretty solid even have the booster at both sides. Uh, hopefully for the future they definitely like uh, possible to do the die cast join they'll be better but uh, I'm not pretty sure hopefully they will do it they'll be much better like right now the weight is quite light and then I even see some like uh, youtuber did the compressing with the master gray Bandai EV-02 the size is pretty much like identical Pretty much is a good plastic kit for one 100 scale. You will see like uh, what they design pretty much like use the PGU technique to put it as a one 100 master grade and um, something like that. Also, um, let's see the light up gimmick. As you can see right here, just like uh, the magnet is hiding right here. And then you just say use the magnetic to light up the light. You will see it's light up right now. Let's focus. Okay. And even you will see the light is pop up from the chest part all the way grow to the top and right now I didn't put any armor on the head so pretty much it's pretty bright here you go right now it's uh, been switched off I'm not pretty sure like um, when will be Bandai will release very useful, you know, the magnetic light is quite cool. It's very funny to use. Yeah, let's focus. Here you go. And off. Uh oh all right so right now what we got is like before the skeleton and right now you will see some silver like uh, armor could be say internal armor have been attached for this model kit it's pretty cool they already like uh, provide the silver silver clone color already that Pretty much is good, like uh, PGU. So far, I look forward to Bandai will make the similar model kit like so. As you will see, like they get additional, have some function on it, which is for the armor pass, for the compressing. And uh, iconic for GPO2, they also have a gimmick as well. What you do is just like slot it out. They like the wings will be attached like that. And also get extension for the boost. It's a pretty cool gimmick for that. The only thing this kit is not good as they does not have any die cast in it. As you can see right now, could be have a view like uh, what I say, prepare to attach the full armor on it. So far, I have to look how it go.
Okay, as you can see right now, I've been attached half body of the armor on it. You will see the compressing with like um, show up the interior. And then um, some of the section already like um, open it like um, the attach, say it's the gimmick. So for this model kit is like um, standard 1100 scale for the Kingdom. And you can see the skirt is different already like um, standard. And then um, just show you guys the shield as well. That's the actual size for the shield. You will see like um, pretty large as well. And then they also have the gimmick for that to additional show up the details in there. So maybe show you guys one more time. What you do is just pull this and then you extend it. You will see what would that be. While you extend the shield, they'll be like a much bigger as well. So you can hold it like that. Of course, like um, the mega launcher, like actually can attach in there. Okay, as you can see right now, I've been attaching there. And very simple, you just like uh, unlock it, and then you have to. Pick it out like so, and so so they got the switch right here. And you switch it on. You will see it. They also have the light up. Also, they will light up right here as well. And they're so bright. And then also the bottom part of those, you have to light up as well. And the switch is high in there like so. And when you light up, it's flashing as well. And what you do, you just like attach together. You can see it. You can stop it and boom, you'll lap the green and lock in pace. And then you will see the already launch. It's pretty cool. And same as the fun as well. You will see the light up both sides. Maybe if I put the nymph beside it, you will see how big is that cannon. I will say, I don't know, you will say Mega Launcher. What was the actual name for that? I'm not really sure. For this material itself, it is alright. Because the, for the plastic wise, what they did is like finishing dark grey. And then like um, they got a chrome effect in there. Pretty much like just just put like um, decals and um, matte finishing. Still will look like matte finishing as well. But if you put more matte finishing, you will see. You will see there's like a metallic on it. You just put the matte finishing, which is that is like. To tap the decals. All right, the video is up to here. I need to spend some time to put some decals and pen line or whatever to get this model kit done. If like just roughly build it, all the marking you just place on it and color, 
everything has been like separated. It's quite easy to build this figure. If you're just happy with any color, you just like paint it. It'll be more better. Alright, see you next time.